Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here with my lovely assistant. Today is Sunday, September 10th, and I'm sure all the dominating talk in the news is about uh, the hurricane. So, um, really sad. Um, I heard so far three people have died, so hopefully that number doesn't increase too badly. Um, I wanted to show you, so we're out here in our part of the little woods here. And Heather, show them what we found in there. I found, excuse Well, me. excuse me, yes. Heather found acorns. So we have an uh, acorn tree out here, and I'm not even sure, to be honest with you, what tree it is. I'm looking up, I'm trying to see which one has the acorns. But there's acorns all over the ground over here. And uh, so there's another, it's a, it's a good fat source. And uh, that's uh, just another bonus. Um, you can see, yeah, there's a lot of them. The tops and stuff like that, the deer must have come up and have been eating them. But uh, yeah, there we go, right here's another, another one right there. So it's got to be, I'm thinking, Heather here, I'm thinking it's got to be this tree here because it's like up through here, either that or it's this guy here because they're all through right in this area. There's a lot of them right in this area. So I'm thinking it might be this big boy here. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool actually. I was really excited about that. Because, like I said, there's another another product to have uh, locally. Or that, if you're into fall decoration, have some acorns. Well, yes, if you like fall decoration with acorns. So here's um, what we got left to of this maple that we took down. And I do still need to get out here and zip up a lot of this stuff here. Because uh, this is going to be good kindling wood. Um, like these here, these are good that when you, you zip them up to get them get the fire started. So I like having those. Let me take you over here. And I got all this here. I gotta, I gotta get that. I gotta get that cleaned up. So uh, that's going to get done because that's going to give us a lot of really good fire starting material. You know when we get to that point. So anyway, so I was, uh, if you saw yesterday's video, uh, my sister had come over. And uh, so what we did was, um, excuse me, we had gone shopping. So I had to go get the kids today from their moms because they had spent the weekend at their moms. And I had said that I needed to grab brown sugar. Now here's what's funny. I was going to grab brown sugar uh, at the Dollar General with my sister and she's like, no, 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 no. The brown sugar at Aldi's is 99 cents for two pounds. So it was a dollar or something over there. So I stopped at Aldi's on the way home. And I picked up a 10 package or 20 pounds of brown sugar. I needed more brown sugar because when we work on the rest of these apples uh, to do more canning, I need more brown sugar because we were getting kind of low. I mean, I have brown sugar packed away, but I wanted to get more on hand. My sister's going to come over on Friday this week and help me can. She's coming at noon, so we're going to work on really banging out more um, of the apples this week and get those canned up, so that'll be a good thing. So anyway, so today's been a very nice day. Uh, you can see through the cloud, there's just a wispy clouds, nothing major here. It's been pretty blue all day, so we're going to run in here real quick. Days are getting shorter. Obviously, it's that time of year. So we're not getting as much in the way of direct sunlight over the longer period of time. Because as you can see, like those panels right now are more shaded. Those ones are still getting power in. So let's go in here and we'll take a look. And we'll see where we're at. Okay, so this set of panels has brought in 1.7 and it is still bringing in power right now and this one is brought in 2.1 so we're at 3.8 kilowatt hours on a day which for me i look at it like this anything realistically anything over three kilowatt hours is good and any you know if i can get if i can get five kilowatt hours it's awesome anything over five is just fantastic so uh, and it's funny because I mentioned this in another video. So the average household uses 30 kilowatt hours a day. Uh, the average off-grid family uses about 10. Okay, so um, we use less than 10 kilowatt hours a day. 
and because uh, like I said if we bring in five I'm ecstatic now this winter will we still have to use it use the generator absolutely I'm going to guarantee that we're going to have to use a generator this winter but uh, with putting up the new panels this year and I want to kind of talk about this a little bit with putting up the new panels this year like at this time of year we wouldn't have been bringing in as much power so at night a lot of times we would have already been having to use the generator with adding the new powers what is basically done it's going to extend my season to later into the fall before I have to start using the, the generator at night and then it's also going to start us off earlier in the spring so I've extended our season for as far as solar power goes to run just on solar both ways okay uh, the ultimate goal and if you look at any of my old old videos when we first got up here the ultimate goal is to weed out the generator altogether and just strictly have it as an emergency backup in, in case you get like you know really bad weather for several several days in a row but ultimately I want to basically have 95 percent of my usage for power strictly coming from the solar panels and uh, we are like I said each year um, if you know if you've followed what we've done here you know we added the first year we had the three panels we started out with these three panels when we first got up here and we were on a 12 volt system well I quickly realized that after that first winter that that was not going to cut it um, so what we did was we completely changed the system and we went to a 24 volt system and a lot of that was due to the guidance of Bill from Bill and Rosa Off Grid. Uh, he gave me a lot of really good advice, uh, you know, gave me some really great information. So I truly appreciate, you know, him doing that and taking the time out to, to help me in, uh, in, in the aspect of telling me what, what I should be doing to, to make my system better. It really meant a lot to me. So that, that spring, which was last year, we added these three panels, which these are... Uh, that brought us up to 1500 watts okay so even with the three panels added on our production of power was much better it was you know you could see the difference in it and it was it was good when we added the 1020 watts on this year and I put them at a different angle uh, we get more production out of the 1020 watts than we do out of the 1500 watts because I got them on totally different systems okay but uh, it has been unbelievable the difference of just a thousand watts well it's a thousand and twenty but a thousand twenty watts of power added onto my system this year has been such an incredible difference uh, to us as far as you know what we're able to do and how we're able to do it i had said right in the very beginning i asked my kids after that first winter when we got into the spring i said what is the one thing that you guys want right now more than anything else and it was a unanimous more power so that's what I had focused on last spring. I told them that like this spring, I would add the other, you know, I would get more panels and that's exactly what we did and we got them up. And oh my goodness, what a huge difference. This coming spring, um, I definitely am going to be adding minimum of another thousand watts. Hopefully, if I can swing it, I want to do 2000 watts next year added on. So right now we're at 2,520 watts of power, okay? If I can add on another 2,000 watts next year, because that's ultimately that's going to be my goal. That's what I want to focus on next year is really getting this to where I want it to be. If I can add 2,000 watts of solar next year, uh, then what I'm looking at is um, you know having 4,000 you know 520 watts at least. And I mean like these panels are uh, 255 watt, 255 watt panels or these are 250 watt panels. So let's say we continue to get like those, or we added like 280 watt pow, uh, panels, we'll end up with a little bit more over the top, which would be, you know, that's fine. I'm not gonna even complain about that. But anyway, with, with all that said, um, it, it's gonna make such a huge difference and it's really gonna take us deep into next fall and hopefully into early winter. And then we're gonna have to see how it goes. And uh, if I have to add on more after that, then we will. But like I said, each thing, it, it just, it all takes time. It really does. And if you work at it methodically, guys, and, and, and it's amazing, like when I, when I put these on and we got these online, I felt like a little kid at Christmas, I'll be honest with you, because I knew it was going to make such a huge difference 
in our power production and it really truly has and uh so it, it's it's been you know it's been a lot of fun i mean it's uh you know and, and the thing is it's a learning experience i'm going to tell you what i i was not an expert in solar but we learned you know what i mean and that's the whole thing and it, we learned by trial and error i mean i fried an inverter you know um absolutely cooked it and uh, i felt really stupid but you know that's how you learn and i showed that on video this is what i did this is what happened because i feel it's important to share all of it with you guys because you you know if you can learn from me and not make the mistakes that i made that's going to be better for you okay and so it's like if you're going to do this if you want to live this lifestyle it is obtainable it is doable okay but it is a lot of work but it's well well worth it in my opinion it's well well worth it and uh you know not having a gas and electric bill every month yeah do i invest in wood absolutely i invest in wood okay that's an investment in itself but if i buy 10 face cord of wood a year i'm looking at about 600 dollars. okay that that averages out you know to what 50 dollars a month so you know that, that's nothing in comparison to what people's gas and electric bills are and then the solar you know that's just taking care of itself that's paying for itself uh, our bills in rochester for gas and electric summertime used to be about 120 a month and in the winter time you were looking at 220 to 250 a month so you know do the math i mean these things pay for themselves in a very short time period they really truly do so anyway that's what we're working on you know that's the game plan as far as the solar goes uh, I, I'm happy to continue to add on to the food storage. It makes me feel really good, to be honest with you. And uh, we just keep working away at things, guys. And uh, like I said, my thoughts um, are with everybody right now down in Florida dealing with the situation down there. And uh, I may do another video on Florida tomorrow after I see how things go with the storm and stuff like that. I know Georgia's going to get hit too and South Carolina's going to get hit. So um, just everybody, please be safe and keep your heads down and um, like I said, I, I saw the last report, there was three people dead already. It's just not worth your life, guys. It's really, there's nothing out there worth your life. So anyway, um, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you've had a nice weekend. I'm happy to have my kids home. I miss them when they're gone. And remember, guys, you know, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And uh, remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. You will get there before you know it. You just got to work at it methodically. I mean, you know, I spent uh, $10 on brown sugar today, and I got 20 pounds of brown sugar. So, you know, I'll probably add on another 20 at some point soon. But uh, that's what we'll do. Uh-oh, I think we have a fisticuffs about to happen over here, so I will show you this real quick. No, nope, Lucy decided to, to bug out. Okay, so anyway, guys, listen, I hope everybody's doing well, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper nurse went out for now.